This Sunday's passage from the Gospel of John is entitled, The Prayer of Jesus. And boy, doesn't that make you wonder, what is so incredibly important that the very Son of God would pray out loud to the Father for it? What well, might surprise you to learn that he prays this, that they be one just as the Father and I are one. Huh, well that's pretty amazing. And I don't think that he means be one as in immediate family will be one, or all the people at my favorite mass on Sunday will be one, or even all the people together in my new parish grouping will be one. I think in order to understand what Jesus is getting to, we have to look all the way back to the first chapter of Genesis, where it says, let us create mankind in our image. Oh, hmm. So God created mankind in his image. He didn't create me in his image. He didn't create you in his image. He didn't create the Pope in his image. He didn't create Nick the camera guy in his image. He created all of mankind in his image. We collectively are the image of God. And we each have one little unique sliver of God to present to the world. And we're uniquely qualified to do exactly that. And Jesus, in his prayer, wants us to be one so that we can collectively present a better image of God to the world. And we do that by discovering earnestly who God created us to be and be eager to share that with the world and encouraging and affirming others in their gifts and then joining together so that we create a more and more complete image of God to our community and to the world. When we do this, we become what God created us to be from the very beginning. And now that might sound like a little bit of work and I'm sure that it is, but later in his prayer, Jesus says, I speak these words in the world so that you may share my joy completely. Wow, complete joy. That sounds pretty good. So what's your sliver?